If you are a Bitcoin enthusiast or even Bitcoin maxi like I am, the last weeks must have been very magical for you. I think it's high time on this channel that we actually stay true to our name, the good, the bad and the Bitcoin and talk about Bitcoin. Because right now it seems like the rocket ship Bitcoin has not only launched to the moon but is maybe even surpassing the moon. And that's why on today's video I want to talk about two things. I want to show you the actual true reasons why the Bitcoin price is at the moment rising like crazy. And in the second part of this video I want to uh, look a little bit into the future, how the price development of Bitcoin is going to be within the next three to six months. So stay tuned, grab yourself a coffee or some popcorn and I'm going to see you in 10 seconds. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you, everybody. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, Bitcoin is trading around 59,000 US dollars. So that's a mere 10,000 US dollars that are still missing until the last all time high at around 69,000 US dollars. 10,000 US dollars or in percentage 17%. To put this into perspective, these 17% in performance is also roughly the performance of Bitcoin that we've seen uh, for the last three and a half weeks now. So there is, at least in my opinion, a realistic possibility that we actually could see the old all-time high or maybe even a new all-time high above 69,000 US dollars before the halving because we still have, the clock is ticking obviously, but we still have around 52 days uh, to, to go until the next Bitcoin halving when then again the reward for finding a new block on the blockchain uh, by a miner is cut in half from now 6.25 Bitcoin to then 3.125 Bitcoin. The question of course is why is this happening here at the moment? Why does it seem like the price for Bitcoin only knows one direction and this is up? The truth here is actually quite simple. It's always about supply and demand. And if there's a lot of demand for a good that has a limited supply, uh, then you will see the catalyst, the price going up until uh, supply and demand even them themselves out again. To put this a bit into perspective and to really see what is going on supply and demand wise, we have one factor that we didn't have uh, prior to the last halvings 2020, 2016 and 2012. And these are the Bitcoin spot ETFs. Uh, we have seen, for example, here, according to, uh, the, according to Bitcoin Archive, which is a really, really good Twitter user. Highly encourage you to follow him on Twitter if you are on Twitter. Um, we've seen, for example, yesterday alone, net inflows of 520 million US dollars into Bitcoin. So 520 million divided by 59,000, that's a demand of roughly 8,800 Bitcoins that were just alone yesterday bought up by the Bitcoin spot ETFs. Now remember that uh, the supply of Bitcoin largely comes at the moment from the miners because out of the Bitcoins that are currently available, a large percentage hasn't been moved in more than a year. So it's highly unlikely that those are going to flood the markets at the moment. So what we need to do now is we should compare these, uh, this demand of about 8,800 Bitcoins that are bought up by the spot ETFs to watch what is really coming in as new supply onto the markets. And that's mainly from the side of the miner. So every 10 minutes a new block is mined, you get a block reward of 6.25 Bitcoin. So that's uh, six blocks an hour, six times 24. That's every day 144 blocks that are mined uh, on average. 144 times 6.25, that's the reward currently for finding uh, a new block on the blockchain, on the Bitcoin blockchain. That's 900 uh, Bitcoins that are newly generated every day. Now compare this to the 8,800 Bitcoins that are scooped up, that for example were yesterday scooped up by the Bitcoin spot ETFs. Um, 
this is where currently the demand is coming from. Of course, the 900 uh, Bitcoin are not the only thing. There are, of course, also people like you and me that might have bought Bitcoin for better prices uh, in the past that are thinking about selling. But so we have on the one side 900 Bitcoins that are generated every day at the moment by the miners as new supply coming onto the market. Uh, and on the other side, we have 8,800 Bitcoins that alone yesterday were bought up by Bitcoin Spot ETFs. I think this explains a lot why the price of Bitcoin is going up in the way that it is going up at the moment. Now, think about what is happening in 52 days from now, uh, the halving. These 900 Bitcoins will be cut in half again because of the halving, the The reward for finding a new block will be cut down to 3.125 Bitcoin. So we are going to see on average 450 new Bitcoins coming onto the market. Um, now, so far, the Bitcoin spot ETFs have scooped up around 6 billion US dollars. And if this roughly stays the same way in 55 days when we see the halving, well, I mean, You don't need a lot of fantasy to imagine what could happen then to the price of Bitcoin. However, what goes up eventually must come down also again, right? Yes, but. Now, in order to get a feeling and to make an assumption about what is going to happen next for the price of Bitcoin, I think we need to analyze a couple of things. First of all, we should have a look at how the patterns in this bull market, which started probably somewhere here around November 2022, which by the way also was when I told you on Twitter I suggested to buy Bitcoin and buy stocks. I hope you did so because you got very good prices then. And uh, we need to analyze here what happens every time within this bull market that Bitcoin makes a low. Um, and what we're seeing here is a very typical trending market. Higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low. So this is the textbook definition uh, of a trending market. In this, in this case, a market trending up. Now, what we've seen so far is that between the local bull market lows, the first one formed after 14 weeks, 14 bars, this is a weekly chart, obviously, the second one after 13 weeks, the last one, January 23rd, as I said just now, uh, after 19 weeks. Now, if we project this into the future, we can assume that the next local bull market low will also be th uh, somewhere 13 to 19 weeks um, in the future from the last low we saw here and in, in the end of January. And this would put the next low somewhere here around the time of the halving or a couple of weeks, uh, six weeks after the halving. And this, in my opinion, fits very well into what we've seen in the past from Bitcoin. And it fits so well, in my opinion, because it kind of falls into the same pattern that we've seen after the last halvings. In 2020, we saw after the halving, the price trending a couple of weeks sideways before it started to really pick up pace. And it was the same uh, if we go all the way back here to 2016. We also saw actually the price crashing quite hard after the halving. So going sideways or even... Um, into a mini bear market seems to be a little bit the norm after the Bitcoin halving. So this is kind of like what we could expect also Bitcoin doing uh, after the halving. The Now, what does that mean for the price development of Bitcoin before the halving? Because usually a month before the halving, we kind of see a bull market rally uh, because of the because of market participants anticipating the bitcoin halving and buying up the bitcoin halving and then selling at the halving we just saw the effects of it on the other chart of course there's the possibility that we see a new all-time high uh, that is not out of the question I'm not going as far to say here we are 100% guaranteed seeing that, but there are a couple of things that make me still optimistic about Bitcoin. And first and foremost, aside from the daily amount of Bitcoin that is bought up by the Bitcoin spot ETFs, is that if I look at Google search trends, 
and I, I type in the search term Bitcoin here, I can see that Bitcoin has not really picked up a lot of pace in terms of search term. If we look here at the last five years, we can, for example, see, you know, it's somewhere in the lower third and far away from the hypes it used to have, for example, during the last bull market and bear market. So uh, that means like that the people out there that usually would never invest in Bitcoin, like maybe your father, your mother, your grandparents, still haven't picked up on it. It's like, and it's kind of true. If I look into German mainstream media, I see nothing at the moment written about Bitcoin. So the interest by the public has not yet been picking up. If that would be the case now before the halving already, I would say, okay, this is the time now to sell. We are probably going to see a new local low soon, but this is not the case yet. So that makes me slightly optimistic that maybe we have not seen the full picture, the full end of this mini bull market, or it's actually a maxi bull market in my opinion, pre-halving already. Only time will tell. One thing you can do to stay informed is of course to not only leave me a like and subscribe to my channel, but to also maybe follow me on Twitter and check out my new Discord server where we talk about trading and where I actually share some of my trading signals. Until we see each other again, happy investing.